right, here I am again. I am back. Hello, hello. So, what I am going to do, so first, okay, first let me go over this, actually, you know what, here, let me see if I can do this as well. Um, before I start, oops. Let me just show you real quick what I'm working with here. Yeah, no, yeah. I'll just make that a little bigger. So this is what the randomizer looks like. Um, and it just, uh, so there's a bunch of options I can, I can, I can mess with uh, to determine the terms of how I play the game. Um, and this is my, uh, to, to reiterate, this is my first time with a randomizer. I've never played a randomizer of anything before. So I figured if I'm gonna, then the best way to do it is with a game that I love and have played a million times. Uh, Quest for Glory 1, specifically the EGA version. Um, this is not going to be a speed run. I don't do speed runs, except under very specific circumstances. Um, this is just me playing around with this thing and uh, seeing how I like it. And um, yeah. So another cool thing about this about this is that like I have learned so much about Quest for Glory 1 that I did not know before... <laughs> before uh, I before I started poking around with this randomizer. Uh, for example, um, I didn't know about this weight overflow glitch that apparently exists in the game. Uh, if you carry if you if you encumber yourself to ridiculous amounts, uh, you become very hard to hit. <laughs> Which makes me think of the the Final Fantasy VI um, blind glitch. Which 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 does nothing, <laughs> but I think what what does it do? Like it doesn't actually. What does it do? Like, there's something weird about the Final Fantasy VI and the evasion stat, uh, and like the blind status effect actually does nothing. But there's some other way to like, I don't know. I forget. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, correct me because I'm just kind of gonna ramble and not know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, anyway, so, okay, so survival mode, I'm going to leave that on, um, so that we start with no weapon for added challenge, um, and if you've played Quest for Glory 1, uh, EGA, you may be aware that if you go into combat and you don't have a weapon, uh, you die, uh, and that's the way I'm used to playing, so I'm going to leave that on. Um, which is a little bit broken just in the sense that, like, even if you don't have a weapon, you can still defend yourself if you're playing, you know, a mage. Because you can, you know, cast flame dart at things. But uh, but I, I like I, I like doing it this way. We'll, we'll, we'll go in with, with no weapons. Um, flame dart weapon. Logic will assume flame dart is sufficient to win any combat except the kobold. Logic will assume a physical. Okay. Okay. So this is this is basically treating flame dart as your weapon, and I'm not going to do that. Skill throwing. If you have zero throwing skill, throwing rocks and daggers will do no other damage. Yeah, we're leaving that off. I think. Let's go ensure that all locations are accessible, not just those necessary to beat the game. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that off. We'll leave that off as well. I I don't mind grinding. Expert mode. We're not going to do expert mode. Uh, I'm going to leave that intact and I will not use it because that's not the way I'm used to playing. Um, yeah, well, f I, this is also a glitch I didn't know about. Apparently, you don't need, if you if you if you don't have a pick lock, you can still practice your your lock picking skills. Evade is a useless stat. Is it? Ah, uh, okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Fast Baba Yaga, which like speeds up the Baba Yaga encounter. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it as is. 
Location check screen. That's cool. Um, that's a little extra thing that is not in the original game. I'm gonna leave. The, I'm gonna put that on because I want to see what that looks like. And then there's also a journal screen, which is also not in the original game. So you have like a quest log, which is cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this, I think, is the main thing that I'm that I'm kind of waffling about. Because in my initial fiddling around with the randomizer before I started, um, you do, you basically don't get to pick your character class. Um, you don't get the little character select screen. You 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 start as whatever this decides you are. Um, so, I kind of want to do classless. Because this means that I might, like, so the, the way the randomizer is designed is that I think it, it encourages you to play a, a hybrid hero. Because um, you might not necessarily be able to get everything you need if you don't have a bunch of different skills. Although I think may, they might have updated it to make that less the case, but I'm not sure. Um... Okay. Two skills you want guaranteed access to. Hmm. What do you think? Should I should I select all of these so that I always have the the so that I could potentially have any of them? Or no, or should I just leave it all random? Okay. So we'll just leave none of them selected. Okay, and then we'll just see what the randomizer does does for me. Okay, let's go. Randomize. Boom. All right. So now I can close this. And then... Let me get that off and then that on. It is Papaya Chemist suffering time. That's true. I can always re-randomize if I, if, if I hate it. Okay. So now... What that should do is this. Let's get me a nice little um Yeah. So here's yeah, so I was not given the chance to uh I was not given the chance to to choose a, a character class. This is just all of the skills that I have now. Okay, yeah, so we can see that this that worked because last time I tried this, I didn't get any magic skill. But now I don't have any climbing. Exactly, yes, full chaos. Okay, so no parry, no pick locks, and no climbing. Interesting. But I get magic, so that's good. Um, what should my name be? Now taking suggestions for names. So I think, uh, yeah, so I don't, I'm not allowed to put any points in these grayed out skills. So I don't get any of those. I don't get to pick locks. I don't get to climb. Kobold. <laughs> Somehow I knew you were going to, you were going to uh, suggest that name. All right, fine. Kobold it is. And then where do you think I should start putting my points? Let's see. I kind of want to do like, just kind of even out the ones that I have less points in. Not luck. Uh, You always just pump up vitality. That's probably a good idea, yeah. Just so that you can, just for survivability's sake. I also like magic, because I like having magic points. But then, yeah, vitality and stamina are also really important. Um, that's true. I can grind magic, but... 
Well, I don't know. Grinding magic is kind of difficult, actually, because you need to have... Like, I always say that playing a mage in Quest for Glory 1 is hard mode because you need to be able to grind your magic, but in order to grind your magic, you need magic potions, and in order to, gr get, to get magic potions, you need... or mana potions or whatever. Uh, in order for mana potions, you need money, and in order for money, to get money, you need to win fights, and in order to win fights, you need good magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay no yeah i think i remember you doing that this on, on your stream yeah um that's true yeah because yeah right because because iran is peace sleeping at iran is peace right there is that there is that so that that is a that is a, a i guess a, a little glitch that i never took advantage of i don't think i, I knew about it until i watched you play um, but yeah, the nice thing about Arana's Peace is that Arana's Peace gives you a full health and mana restore, whereas Sleeping at the Inn does not. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, yeah, let's just give Vitality. Sure, let's do that. All right, start game. Here we go. I'm not going to go, like, super story-focused. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna play randomizer. <laughs> what do I call myself? Kobold. Go back to your quest, Kobold. Thank you. So, right, I have leather armor. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. I want numb lock. There we go. Moving speed. Yay! We're not here for points, we're just here for items. So now I gotta remember, like, where we where we go to get stuff. Uh Saurus. Oh yeah, so let me actually, yeah, let's check. Okay, here we go. Here's the here's the location tracker. That's cool. Okay, and then what's the quest log? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it doesn't... I haven't even activated these quests, technically. <laughs> First, we're going to sign the book, because we got to sign the book. Yeah, I'm not going to do speed run, but I am kind of going to skip a bunch of stuff that is not really super necessary for this experience. Spell components. Barnard. Hello. <laughs> oh, I have a task for you if you think you're up for it. Oh, right, they added this. Guildmaster actually gives you monsters to kill. Schultz and I thought we had exterminated all the Antwerps left in the valley, but we spotted one southwest of town. Kill it if you see it, but watch out if it explodes. Return once you've completed the task. I'll have a nice reward waiting for you. Good luck. Great, but to do that, I need a weapon. <laughs> and I don't have one right now. Apples! Hello, Hilda. Can we... I remember in the VGA version you could ask her for a date. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I did not activate the completionist. So it's possible that I might not be able to access certain... Um, uh, certain areas it does yeah like you um let me bring up the randomizer again one sec um so this right here at the top is the seed number um and you can just give this to someone else if, if you want to uh 
Oh yeah, also there's manual seed. Yeah, if there's a manual seed, uh, and you can just enter that number or just like whatever number you want. So yes, you can do that. Let's be a hero. Okay, and there is a note on the floor there. Oops. There we go. So, is that actually the note? It is, okay, piece of paper. So I don't have any money, so I need to hmm. <laughs> That's cute. Oh yeah, I have throwing. Okay. Okay, so let's try this first. Um, you do races. <laughs> God. I don't wanna. <laughs> races are too stressful. Like, why, why, why can't we just enjoy the game? <laughs> uh, potions. Yes, you do. Cheetor claws. Right. Yes. Lost your favorite gold ring. Okay. No, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure people have done that. Can I get rocks here or do I have to go into the forest for it? I do. Okay. Throw a rock. Sweet. I, I got toadstools. <laughs> Welp. That's actually okay. I can give her, I can give toadstools to the healer. Get some money off of that. Nope. Or can I? Oh, no, no, no. Toadstools and mushrooms are different. Oh, no, wait. Okay. Mushrooms. You've ruined the mushrooms with toadstools. What? What do you mean? What do you mean I've ruined the mushrooms? What, what are you talking about? How did I do that? <laughs> so, okay, so there's there's mushrooms in this game and there's toadstools in the game. And toadstools are the ones you get in the kobold cave. Mushrooms are the ones you get from the ring, from the fairy ring. Hmm, well, that sucks. Uh, I need a way to get money, but I can't currently fight. Hmm. Okay, let's do this then. That is true. <laughs> Open gate. Let me in. Because we do have this. This is a surefire way to get money. Yep, stables. Yes, please. <laughs> Woo! Five whole silvers. And I can't do that again for a while. Oh yeah, flowers. Thank you. Yes. 
It has been a while since I played this game, so I might have forgotten some stuff as well. Also, I should save. <laughs> Uh, that's not how you go to Aranus Peace. Aranus Peace is this way. Oh, God. Oh, that was close. <laughs> March. Shit, I'm dead. <laughs> I love that screen. Okay. I may have screwed myself over by, by setting that, uh, that option. Wait. Where? Am I doing this wrong? Where is your run? It, it, it's up this way, isn't it? Yeah, it's like up near the north end of the forest. Let's run. Ah, fuck! No, damn it, fucking goblin. <laughs> We're gonna see that a lot, I expect. Until I can manage to defend myself. Yeah, it's right here. Here we go. Okay, apples. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Free items. Ooh, actually, that means I can go give these to Browgy. Oh, I- no, I can't. Damn. I guess. Well, also, I mean, it. I guess uh, flowers might also. I mean, flowers are, are somewhere else then, I suppose. You're in a stone. Okay, yeah, so I need a spell for that. Henry's. Oh, yeah, the Meeps. Meeps is an option. Okay, let's go. Oh, I should also look for the mushroom ring. Um, I need flasks. Sam's reward. Ooh. Sam being the beggar. Does Sam give me... Re yeah, yeah, yeah. I will talk with Meep and Enri. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. Here, I found this sack in the garbage last night. I haven't looked inside yet, but I've decided I want you to have it. Trigger scroll, sweet, I'll take it. That will, that's actually very, very helpful. Um. Oh, okay, I just have it, all right, good. Word of warning to you, don't drink the dragon's breath. Thank you. Oh, it's already sunset. Starting to be something anyway. Hello, Abdullah Du. I wonder if this will work. Let's see. Thank you. Now. Hmm. Weird. I guess in the, in, the normal, in the normal version, you can give your food to Abdullah. Penny 
Nicholas Burden. Brigands. Blah, 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 blah. Magic with blind, which blinded us. Hmm. Yeah, well, I need more apples, though. Uh, which, which means I need... Uh, yeah, I tried to get multiple apples from Irina's piece, um, but you know, I apparently I can only get that once, so I need to find a way to get more apples. Uh, which, actually, I can do that... Because I, yeah, I, I, I think 10 apples only cost one silver, don't they? So I can do that. You need 50. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll buy some apples from Hilda tomorrow, and... Um, And, uh, yeah. Five silvers a night, which I don't have. I only have four silvers. That's fine. We'll sleep at Irena's piece then. Also, can I do the stables again? Or oh, actually, I can, I can sleep here. I can sleep in the stables as well. Hi, Kyra Jim. Yes, this is a Quest for Glory randomizer. I've never played a randomizer before. It's interesting trying to remember like where everything is so that I can try to get stuff without having anything that I normally have. <laughs> Let's see. Sunset approaches. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, let's save again. Um, we're doing classless. I did get rocks off the ground, yes. And I did get rocks. I, I don't think eating the fruit will... Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I tried... I, I was thinking the same thing, but I don't think it does. Because you can't actually get the fruit. Oh, right. I forgot you have to pay for food at the inn, so I just lost money. That's fine. I may just have to grind at the stables for a while. Yeah. Oh yeah, Henry. Uh huh. Actually, yeah. Let's do that instead. Where, uh, Henry is south. Oh god, goblin. No. Right, especially now that I have the trigger spell, which I can. Um... No, yeah, that is you. You can't actually take the fruit. You have to just eat it right off the tree. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> Music from Aranus piece is kind of uh, still kind of frozen in the background. <laughs> Please move away from the door. Hello. Yeah. Yes, please scroll. <laughs> Poof. Apples. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Hey, if we do, if we get apples three more times, we can get the gem from Browgy. <laughs> I don't have any rations. So I don't know if I can, if I'm allowed to, um, sleep here. Yeah, I got no, I have no, oh. Huh, that's cool. <laughs> I've never seen him do that before. That's neat. All right, that's fine. We will sleep somewhere else. Namely, Iranus Peace. Yep, stable is also an option. In fact, yeah, let's do that because we'll get money that way. <laughs> I'm bored of you now. Go away. Look, who are you, Erasmus? What do you think this is? A rest home? Get to work! Now! Yes, he is. <laughs> that is true. And the same uh, weird temper, I guess. Alright, we got some more silver. Not much, but it's something. Stables, barracks, sleep until night, stable, sleep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll try that. But, um, so I, I want to see exactly what I can get away with, with the little bit that I have first. Uh, and then if I do need to end up just grinding for money, I'll do that. Because I might need to also, I, mean, I might need to just buy stuff from this guy too. Those are also going to be randomizer items. So first let's buy apples. What? Yes, I do. What the heck? It's not letting me... I can't just buy stuff from people. Hilda Stahl. Oh, the fox. Let's go find the fox. Yeah, like, the way this randomizer is set up, like, it, it gives you rewards for things that you... It, it, there's, there's rewards that, that you wouldn't get, normally get in the, in the main game, but then also, like, I'm confused about how to buy stuff. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. Like, do you have to buy, like, try to buy every single I potential item in the game? Like, I thought the way it works was that you buy apples and then she gives you something that might not be apples. But if I have to just go through every single item in the game in the hope that she might have it, that's a shitty way of doing it. Ah! Fucking Saurus. Uh, oh, wait, no, no. The, the fox is this way. Along the path. Okay, yeah, I will do that when I get back to her. Uh, the fox should be there. What the heck? Where's Fox? Here's Browgy. Hello. That should be fruit that will fill up my fists. Yep. <laughs> oh, and then I just gave him the apples. Shit. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to restore. I don't want to do that. I need, I need those apples. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's ask about store or stock. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh. Why is the money so much more now? 
Okay, but she's where I get the magic acorn. That's good to know. And she still sells apples, so that's also good to know. Okay, okay, okay. So let's also ask the healer what she has in her store. Wouldn't it be funny if she actually had the ring? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I lost my ring. I don't know where I put it. Uh... <laughs> it's only 15 silver too, so I can easily grind for that. <laughs> oh, okay, let's also ask Zara about her store. Oh, maybe. Um... Yes, hello, store. Okay, you have the green fur, zap, and dazzle. Ugh, so expensive. Alright, thanks, bye. Yeah. Yeah, I will give that a try. Where was the fairy ring? It was over to the west, wasn't it? Somewhere over here? I just want a dagger. <laughs> That's all I want. Uh, where the hell is the fairy ring? Okay. Cobalt. Well, there it is. Okay. Let's see. First, I'm going to save. Kind of demonic dazzle, yes. And Zara's uh, zealous zap. <laughs> First, let's see what happens if I get the mushrooms from here. Hand mirror! <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> we can go... Well, we can't get rid of Baba Yaga right now, but, um, <laughs> but we have what we need to be to, to, to get rid of Baba Yaga. Ooh, stag. Hello, Dryad. Yeah, I think we can. <laughs> Well, um, we also need to get the Mandrake root, I think. Because I don't think you can... I don't think you can use the mirror on Baba Yaga until after you do that for her. Yeah, you need the root first. So I gotta figure out... I gotta get the root, which means I also need the Undead Elguent. Yes. Spore Spitting Spiria. Um, ooh, I should also try to get that, actually. That's, that's another thing I should try doing. Because the Spore Spitting Spiria might have something else in, in it. Uh, and I gotta, oh yeah, and also the Meeps are going to be somewhere around here. I think the Meeps are over way on the west. Yeah, here's the Meeps. Hello, Meeps. Hiya, hiya, pleased to meet ya. Spell scroll! Yes, please. Whack a mole, no. Whack a meep. Thank you. Also, yes, belated. 
belatedly reveal, and yes, I did stream this game on GOG uh, way back in the day, and it kept crashing <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why it kept doing that. Um, but uh, yeah, I did do that, uh, but it wasn't the randomizer. I don't think the randomizer existed at the time. <laughs> Oh wait, I smell green fur. Yeah, but like that's never happened before. Like I had streamed this game several times, I think, before then, on my channel and on another channel, and it didn't crash. But only when I streamed on GOG, it decided to just crash. <laughs> Scroll. All right. Cool. Welp. <laughs> so now all we need is the gem, and someone, someone has it. One of the one of the merchants had it for sale, didn't they? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can. If I can win this game without ever f fighting anything, that'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, let's talk to him. Oh shit. Well, and now I'm dead. <laughs> That's fine. Gem is truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Yes, I did. Wait. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mandrake Root and Calm. Yep, there sure is. The fox should be along the path. Oh, there's the Antwerp. Okay, but I can't... A <laughs> brown boogie down. Oh, this is the dirt. Oh, I don't want to be here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, it was along... The fox is supposed to be along the path, but I went to where... Oh, shit. All right. Damn it. Okay. That was my own stupid fault. I went the wrong direction. Okay. This is fine. You don't have to. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, you do. You do actually have to. Oh, here we go. Sports to Inspiria. This is good. This is where I wanted to be in the first place. I have to grind rock, grind throwing a whole bunch. Oh, you have to go north and then south? Okay, thank you. I thought I did that and it didn't show up, but maybe I didn't do that. Okay. 
<laughs> live with our fairy waifu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, actually, yeah, um... I believe saving Elsa is the only thing you have to do to win the game. Uh, you don't have to have to save Barnard or get rid of Baba Yaga. How's my throwing doing? Yeah, it's getting there. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do, actually, instead. Um, does she? I could swear I've beaten the game before. Oh, shit. I could swear I've beaten the game without without getting rid of her before. But, uh... Uh... Not sure. Grinding rock throwing. Yay! Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm trying, thinking back, like... Isn't it like when, once you once you chase off Baba Yaga, don't you? Doesn't that automatically take you to the ending screen? But if you save Elsa, you actually have to go to the castle uh, in order to trigger the ending screen. I think I may be getting that completely wrong. Yeah. Hey, got it. <laughs> Trollbeard. Well, that's good actually, because I can. I, I maybe I can sell that to the healer. Okay. Okay. Now, uh oh. Oh, graveyard. Okay. Cool. Good. So we're near town. That's good. Here's this. Fuck off, goblin. Hey, Bruno. Uh, healer. Cock. <laughs> Healing potions. Right. You don't get money for that. You get healing potions. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I can get an empty flask if I drink a healing potion. So there's that at least. Um, 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 what else can I do? Oh yeah, Fox. No, I think she gives money for everything but the troll beard. Yeah, uh, that is one of the items. Um, I might, I might get something else. Nope, no Fox. Oh, there's the fox! Yay! Just took a few times. Ooh, question is, can I open that trap? Oops. Yay, I can. 
contains a worn key. Oh. Okay. Uh, what is the key? That is either... I believe that's to the rock, the troll cave behind the Antwerp? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, I thought it did. Oh, the baronet. Yeah, right. I forgot. Yeah, there's there's two keys. One is for that, for the rock door, and one is for the, the baronet's... Um, uh, baronet's um, manacle. Oh, yes, and there's also the key that's around the kobold's neck. That is also a thing that I'm going to need. Uh, I do have stealth, actually. I should be grinding my stealth. That's what I should be doing. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Are there any other... Let's see. Where, are, where, where have I not been yet? Actually, let's, let's check. Um... You ran a stone. Okay, I need the open spell for that. Flying Falls, I need flasks. Lake Miller. Oh, that's that's the lake. Okay. I also need flasks for that. Fairy Dance. Okay. I'm going to wait until nightfall for that time. And I also need a flask for that. Abdullah's Reward. How do I get that? Wolfgang Antwerp, Healer's Reward. Okay, okay. okay. Um, so I should grind for more money. Browgy, Dryad. Oh, Erasmus Visit. Okay, let's go visit Erasmus. I don't know what Abdullah's reward is. I think that's specific to the randomizer. Wait. Not that way. Shit. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Don't I get something when I bring their stuff back? Uh, I mean, that would be at the end of the game. And I mean, normally, because I, I, I remember being able to give Abdullah my money. Oh, right. Erasmus is up this way. Nope, that's Browgy. Further north. Um, not my money. I mean my food. I remember to be able, being able to order food and then give it to Abdullah. And then he would like tell me he would tell me that he had a magic carpet. Um. And they probably added a reward to that in this version for the randomizer. Maybe I don't know, but I can't seem to do that. So maybe. I, th I bet I need rations, actually. I probably need to get rations first. Hello, gargoyle. What do you mean I don't give up easily? What? <laughs> it's my first time here. What is my name? Hey, Sparrowgrass. Apparently my name is Kobold. I seek... A grail, I mean Erasmus. Who is spell protect the town? That would be Irana. <laughs> so maybe yeah, maybe I just get something just for visiting Erasmus. Hold on, before I go up there. Dredging up your ancient Egyptian, you translate the hieroglyphs, she of the golden hair. This is an excerpt from the Rosella stone. There is a picture next to the message. Rosella. <laughs> I love that reference. Save. Sure. Sip and stretch. Okay. I will be right back. I'm gonna grab some water.
I'm back. I mean, yeah, that's what you do when you when you redeem sip time and fresh time. I don't always have water next to me. I gotta go get it. This is my other favorite thing in Erasmus's room. Actually. In Erasmus's house, rather. The poor stuff Peacock seems bedraggled, worn, and overused. Foomp! <laughs> you admire the plumage of the peacock. You. <laughs> I also love this guy. The Dagron. It talks, but basically, but usually only if you if you like do something to to make to make Erasmus mad. <laughs> Come in and sit down, Fenris. Our guest has arrived. Cheese, please. Ah. <laughs> ah, here we go. It is a customary practice for resident wizards to offer a gift to adventurers who arrive in their domain. Must be called a practice because you're still not very good at it. <laughs> well, what was the last time you gave someone a present, Fenris? Don't I gift you with my presence every day? You present a challenge for a wizard's patience, that's for certain. So you're saying that my patient presence is a present to your patience. Anyway, at least I haven't forgotten to present a gift this time. Maybe may this help you on your quest. Two healing potions. Alright, I'll take it. Game! I do not know how to cast the open spell, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish I did. I got trigger and calm. Yep, healing potions are useful. Unfortunately, uh, I can't fight. Cheetor has claws at the end of its paws, and the comma is a pause at the end of the claws. So if I can't if I can't fight, then I can't really use the healing potions. Unfortunately. Warlock. Or Nincompoop the Necromancer. Henry. Oh, is it perhaps this mirror that I have? <laughs> Uh, I believe you do, yes. It was a fly thing with the dragon. The mirror had a leer. Do you know what's big, purple, and eats ungefähr liche dinge? Big, purple, ungefähr liche dinge eaters. Uh... <laughs> Do you know which has more legs? One cow or no cow? You're right. No cow has more than four legs. These are too easy. Okay, bye. Poof. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Erasmus Maze. That's one of the possible item locations. Graveyard, which I think that's going to be... That's probably going to be the um, Mandrake Root. Dragon's Breath. Oh, yeah. Apparently in this version, you can actually drink the Dragon's Breath, but you have to be badass enough for it. <laughs> Elsa Mirror, Elsa Potions, Baba Yaga's Reward. Okay, that's probably for giving her the Mandrake Root. Cheetor's Claws, Troll's Beard, and then a bunch of shops. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, I need food rations to... I need to feed Barnard. Oh, yeah, I didn't check the dry goods store. Oops. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think if you, if you have a high enough throwing stat, you have... You uh, challenge the, the chief thief at Dagnabbit. Which I never do, because I don't usually play as a thief, and I don't like the Dagnabbit game very much. So, uh, if I have to do that, that's going to be a pain in the ass, but I'll worry about it. Um, yes, you can drink it in Quest for Glory 5. 
That is the only time. <laughs> you can order it and drink it and you'll be fine. Because <laughs> by that point in the game, or in the series, you'll have grown badass enough that you can handle it. It can still kill you? Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I was going to look at the dry goods store. Hello. Store. He's got apples. He's got a dagger! Uh, vigor is the stamina stat, I believe. Or no, vi sorry, not vigor. Vitality, vitality. Vigor is the is vigor potions, which restore stamina. So related, but not but not the same thing. Okay, he's got a dagger, four hundred fucking silver. He's also got apples. I like that apples are like the things that I have to like hunt around for. <laughs> okay, um, well first what I'm gonna do is. Uh, Let's see. Okay, let's go grind for money. I only need 15 silver to, to get the ring from the healer, which is hilarious. Oh god, it's actually time for me to stop. I should stop soon. Um, okay, it'll take two sessions of stables for me to um, have enough money for the ring. Okay, what was the thing you said? You said go to the... Hold on. Uh, what was the loop you gave me, Kobold Underlord? It was... I'm trying to scroll up to find it again. Stables, barracks, sleep until night, stables, sleep until morning. Okay, there it was. Okay, so barracks, sleep until night. I think it's almost, uh, okay, mid-afternoon. All right. So sleep. Oh, it just kicks me right out. Oh. Oh, it kicks me out of the castle entirely. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> so much for that. For that little exploit. <laughs> and I have no climbing skill, so I can't, uh, I can't get over the wall. <laughs> no, go away, brigand. <laughs> yeah. Just like in Quest for Glory 3 in the hut. Just. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, no. I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to stables. least get enough money to buy the ring. So let's just do that one more time. Do I get a reward for beating Sorty Lordy? I don't think I do. No, I don't.
good because I don't like fighting him. He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I need parry. You're right. Which I do not have. Oh god, Mantray. No. Oh god. Oh, please no. Oh, I made it. <laughs> Whew. Oh, is the glowing key is the one I'm thinking of. I think that's the one that unlocks Barnard's manacles. Maybe, unless I'm misremembering, which is very possible. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because like I'm so used to dodging around that. There's always like I I know about that tree that always like blocks the way to the north passageway, and I'm like so used to dodging around that. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, it, that, that thing has tripped me up so many times. I was not expecting to make it, actually. That manta ray was right on my ass. Manacles! <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, 16 silver coins. That's enough to buy the healer's ring from the healer and then give it back to the healer. <laughs> I just want to see what what she, what she gives me for a, for a reward. Thank you. <laughs> Give ring. Thank you for finding my ring. Oh, flame guard scroll. Cool. That's helpful. Smooch. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, I wish it was an open scroll, uh, but I'll take flame dart. We officially have offense. We sure do. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there, and we're, we're, we'll do this again uh, next Wednesday. And I'll see if I can get any further. This is this is weird and fun, and I kind of want to like do this over and over and over again. <laughs> Just, like, it's fun, like, finding, like, seeing the unexpected things that pop up in unexpected places. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do this more next week. Yeah, if you want to try this out, uh, let, me get, you know, let me get the link to it. Um, one moment. I had it bookmarked. It is right here. I would love a trial by fire randomizer. That would be amazing. Yes, I will put it on Twitter as well. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't really want to do speed runs, but, but yeah, this is, this is, I mean, this, that's kind of what randomizers are for. It's to even the playing field for speed runs for people who've, you know, played the game to death. Um, so yeah, uh, yes, definitely. Also play the play the vanilla game so that you're at least somewhat familiar with it first. Um, but I'm also I'm curious also uh, how what the experience would be like for someone who's never even played the base game. Hmm, that might be cool. Uh, okay, so yeah, I will stop there and we will pick up again next week. Um, Probably no stream uh, next Tuesday, but I might. What I might do is just stream Wednesday and Thursday instead. Um, probably uh, Nomad Soul on Wednesday and then this on Thursday. Uh, but not quite sure how, what my schedule for next week is going to look like. So I will figure it out and uh, let you know when I know more. So thank you for watching. Uh, this was fun, and I hope you had fun too. And let me find someone to raid before I leave. Ooh. What is that? Oh! A Fata Cthulhu's playing Harvester. 
<laughs> okay, content warning for basically everything about Harvester, but I will send you over to I Fought a Cthulhu for Harvester. <laughs> Which is a great, if horrible, uh, spooky season game. Uh, so, yeah, have fun with that. And I will see you folks next week. <laughs> it's popping back in. God. <laughs> oh, that game was an experience. You always were a kidder, Steve. All right. Thank you again, everyone. Take care. I'll see you next week. Bye.